This is Marius, a young giraffe still alive and perfectly healthy. But Sunday, the Copenhagen Zoo euthanized the two-year-old animal anyway, sparking an international outrage. A vet later described the process. There was a zookeeper with some rye bread. It really likes rye bread, and he said, here you go, Marius, here's some rye bread. I stood behind with a rifle, and when he put his head forward and ate the rye bread, then I shot him through the brain. It sounds violent, but it means that Marius had no idea of what was coming. The same vet performed a public autopsy on the animal in front of an interested crowd. Tens of thousands had signed an online petition to save Marius. Several zoos and animal parks volunteered to take him in, and a businessman reportedly even offered almost $700,000 to the zoo to keep the giraffe alive. Even though Marius was perfectly healthy, many other giraffes at the zoo have a similar genetic makeup, so Marius was called to prevent inbreeding. In an interview with CNN, the zoo's scientific director defended the culling. So you always make sure that the space available is filled up with uh, animals genetically valuable. And when giraffes breed as well as they did, they do now, then you will inevitably run into a so-called surplus problem now and then. Not very often. And when there are too many animals with similar genetics, culling is standard policy in Europe. The European Association of Zoos and Aquaria, EAZA, said in a statement, EAZA fully supports the decision of the zoo to humanely put the animal down and believes strongly in the need for genetic and demographic management within populations of animals in human care. EAZA's breeding programs are at the forefront of efforts to safeguard endangered species and are a key part of the worldwide strategy to prevent the actions of humans from destroying the future of the natural world. Scientific necessity will probably do little to curb public anger, especially since the Copenhagen Zoo also announced that parts of Marius' cadaver would be fed to lions and other carnivores at the facility. Fred Plykin, CNN, Berlin.